Super Series. And this Lumpini Stadium welterweight champion, who has been... sellout crowd inside the Singapore yeah. indoor stadium Dutch. where Giorgio Dutch. Petrosian Dutch. has more Dutch. muscles Ready. than a seafood Ready. buffet he Go. is looking in the best shape we've seen him in a long time this one brought to you by global citizen Petrosian the southpaw I want roundhouse kick that's the power weapon of Sorgrom this is when Sorgar needs to jump on Petrosian. Petrosian hasn't figured out his rhythm yet, hasn't figured out his timing. This is Sorgar's moment. I think Mitch, he might have just figured it out. That was a beautiful combination there. <laughs> Sorgar with the crunching arm bands around his biceps. Out of the many traditions and superstitions surrounding the ancient martial art of Muay Thai, more than 3,000 years old. Petrosian's throwing heat with those hands. The little quarter turns, everything thrown with surgical precision. That's why they call him the doctor. And again, Petrosian, the hand, the step through me. Just a delight to behold. And Stolgrove's got to start winding up that right roundhouse kick. Petrosian resets. Armenia during its war torn years, relocated to Italy, had to sleep on the streets with his father and his younger brother, living out of train stations, out of gutters, overcame abject poverty to today be arguably the greatest combat stylist in the world. A oh, beautiful right hand there from Petrosian, and that'll give Saul Grow a headache. Petrosian's at it, like this is a different game. He's being much more aggressive. He's going first. He's not letting Sorbra go. He's actually looking for the knockout the very first round. Petrosian, who lives in Milan these days, close friends with Italian soccer striker Mario Balotelli, no doubt watching his close friend at the moment. Putting on a fine display of finesse, the Ferrari of kickboxing, Giorgio Petrosian. Began his pro career some 15 years ago. Two-time K1 Max champion, looking for win number 98 tonight. Uppercut to a left hand. Petrosian in control early. The chin is tucked, looking through the brow. You can see the right leg is popping. Oh, Sorgrom! The big kickoff! Here comes Petrosian! Sorgrom from the legs, he's right for the picking! Petrosian takes his time, finds his opening. And Sorgor still not composed. The butterflies are still around his eyes. Petrosian backs him up again. The doctor doing surgery. Land the left hand, the power hand. And one score for Petrosian. Absolute ownership of Sorgor. You can sign the pink slip right now. Challenge of his life against the greatest Giorgio Petrosian, who almost dropped him in the opening round. Good forearms guard against the roundhouse kick there. Petrosian, that left hand cross, it is sublime. He leans back like Fat Joe. Tremendous evasion. You, know, you said Petrosian was, you know, the only thing he had to worry about was the leg kicks, but Sorbo hasn't really thrown a lot of leg kicks. He hasn't attacked that inside lead leg. After who said that? He just goes after it's one way to slow down an opponent's punching. The opponent's boxing is to kick the legs. The only thing he's thrown is he's thrown that rear leg round kick. Oh, he caught one right there. Every time Sorgo gets backed against the fence, Petrosian punishes him with speed and precision. Sorgo's throwing that right kick, but Petrosian's eating it on his arms. Which would oh. maybe slow down the hand. Oh, the uppercut. Like the straight left cross. With timing like that, Giorgio Petrosian shouldn't be Italian, he should be Swiss. A 
game with the lead right. Petrosian the overhand to the top of the noggin. It's that right hook, Michael. That's the one. That's the one that's catching Sarah over and over again. That's setting up that straight left hand. Petrosian. Let's cross down the tube. Again, as Sorbrel drifts back in against the cage. Petrosian makes him pay for it. 133 remaining. Second round of three. First round all Petrosian. So two here in the second. Good forearms guard against the roundhouse kick. Two punch combination. The evasion from the counter striking. Everything is flawless at the moment from Giorgio Petrosian. Uppercut again. The ripped, stripped, and shredded arms. Deltoids, biceps, triceps of Petrosian. In tremendous physical shape. Again, he lands the cross off the left. There's the jab. He's had more jabs than a pin cushion tonight. Giorgio Petrosian. What could Sorbrell do here, Mitch? Man, How does he combat this? Man, I don't know. He has to find a way to slow down. Petrosian because Petrosian is just marching forward. He has absolutely zero respect for Sobra's power. Step through knee from Sobra. That won't do the trick. Petrosian drifts back to center cage. Two punch combination again. It is a treat. It is a show. It is kickboxing 101 from Georgia Petrosian. Man, that could be the best two punch combo I've ever seen. That hook to straight left hand is precision. You know, I spoke to Demetrius Johnson yesterday, and he said on the entire card tonight, the man who was most looking forward to watching live for the first time ever was Georgia Petrosian. Because him and Eddie Alvarez singled out Petrosian as the man they most wanted to watch cage side tonight. For this exact reason. And now the doctor, who's known for precision, is starting to hit with in the academy. Find something to upset the greatest. Barely broken a sweat. Not breathing hard, seems completely relaxed. No different from the first round to the third. That defense, the way he puts up that wall from his legs up to his forearms, protecting all that side of his body with the right roundhouse kicks are coming from Sorbrook. And there it is again. The total package here. Giorgio Petrosian comes forward. Beautiful jab. You see the jab and immediately takes his chin out of range for a possible counter. It's the minute, the minuteness, the little things of Petrosian, the little intricacies you've got to watch, you've got to applaud, you've got to absolutely love. And again, that left hand cross thrown as a lead. There's the old three two, the hook to the cross from Petrosian. 3-2 again, there's the hook from Petrosian once more, there's the cross. Petrosian drifts back to center cage. Sorbrell goes down to the legs, maybe should have gone there a little more tonight. Another two punch combination. Petrosian locks him up and referee oh no, he breaks the Haven't seen Sorbrell move into the grapple. Under these kickboxing rules, you are allowed to clinch for three seconds and throw as many knees as you like. Haven't seen Sorbro, who's a Muay Thai champion, go that route. Not just a regular Muay Thai champion, not just a regular Muay Thai world champion, a Lumpini world champion, and Petrosian is having his way with him. Mitch, you couldn't have said it better. Petrosian is using him as a true toy. Just absolutely owning Sorbro here. It is another beautiful display. And you can see why One Super Series has become the premier striking organization on the planet. You saw Muay Thai earlier tonight. You've seen Petros in here. You saw Smoke in Joe Nadawa. We've got Godson Pai coming up again soon. All the great names in the world are with One Super Series. And you are seeing the greatest of all at it again. 45 seconds remaining. I wish we had another 25 minutes on this one to watch Georgia Petrosian at work. Man, but how tough is Sol Ross? He has taken Petrosian's best shots, which we have described as powerful, precision, possibly perfect, and really just taking his best shot to answer. He's still fighting down those math piece, ready to throw down. Literally right there. Mitch, as I glance around here, it's a very silent crowd for this one, not because they've left to get a drink, because everyone's on the edge of their seat with their mouth a jar beholding what Georgia Petrosian is showing us. A very highly educated combat
crowd here in Singapore are loving every second of this. This is like watching Da Vinci paint in front of you. It's incredible. That was another masterclass in play. There is no doubt. Petrosian hardly raising a sweat. He looks to be in the best shape I've ever seen him. My word. Let's go to Dominic Blau. To present the medal for this match, we have Katie Farha, Senior Director of Business Development, Global Citizen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have scored this bout in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the Red Corner, Georgia.